The new generation of seal pups wait nearby. In between feedings, they watch the petrels, little white sheathbills, and the kings. Giant eyes built for dark depths take everything in. The pups just loll around, preparing for their first long sea voyage. It's an especially dangerous time for king penguins. As the birds negotiate the blubber maze on their way to and from the sea, they have to be careful not to be caught up in violent brawls. The female seals have nearly finished feeding their pups. They are becoming available to breed again. Now the largest males are fighting for the right to breed with them. An epic battle is breaking out right in the middle of the king penguin colony. The two bulls are evenly matched. These blows are powerful. The slashing teeth can inflict severe puncture wounds. Even though their necks are reinforced with a layer of thick, scarred skin, the bulls can still be badly injured. The victor bellows in triumph, while the loser just drops down right in amongst the kings. He's fortunate not to be badly injured. Order reigns again. Calm returns among the kings. Things are peaceful too at the colony of nesting gentoos. The frenetic phases of nest building and courtship are over. The Gentoos have laid their first eggs. Two is the normal clutch. The birds are on guard, watching for any threat. Danger is abound here. Some skuas patrol the sky, looking for a chance to plummet. Other skuas stroll among the nests with deceptive casualness. The Gentoos aren't fooled. They know these predators may launch sudden surprise attacks. The Gentoos keep an eye on the sky in case the action on the ground is just a diversion. They know skuas will try to distract a parent in the hope of stealing an egg, or even a chick. But what they spot in the distance are not birds, but an out-of-place mammal. The Gentoo's new visitors are reindeer. Normally, reindeer live in the Arctic with polar bears, not penguins. But these are wild descendants of 20 deer introduced from Norway nearly a century ago. Now 3,000 of them thrive here. On this island, there's the chance to see both Arctic and sub-Antarctic creatures in the same place. 